How does PAD compare to CAD? PAD versus CAD. PAD is peripheral arterial disease. CAD is coronary artery disease. They're the same disease. Its arteries are getting narrowed and clogged over time, like plumbing gets clogged over time. The only difference is PAD refers to the arteries in the legs, CAD refers to the arteries in the heart, but it's the same disease otherwise. The risk factors are the same. Consumption of processed food, mostly sugar and processed carbohydrates, very strongly correlated. Smoking and lack of activity. Of course, some people put diabetes in here and I would agree, diabetes is a huge risk factor, but diabetes comes downstream from processed food and processed carbohydrate consumption. And then further downstream from that comes PAD and CAD. So PAD and CAD, very similar diseases, same disease, just in different parts of the body. Comparing the two, patients who have CAD, 70% also have PAD, okay? Patients who have PAD, I believe it's 60% also have CAD. So most patients have both, which makes sense. They're the same disease process. Why would they only occur in one set of arteries? They usually occur in both. Most people don't know this. PAD is more common in the U.S. than CAD is. Most people don't know that because the awareness for CAD is much higher. The awareness, most people know about CAD. Any random patient in, in America, if they have chest pain, they automatically think, I might have heart disease, I might be having a heart attack, which is CAD. And they go to the ER and eventually they know they have to see a cardiologist. The awareness of CAD has been promulgated far and wide over the last three, four decades. Not so for PAD, and that's unfortunate. Very few people out there, patients, are aware that leg pain, wounds, could indicate something ominous, PAD. And oftentimes, unfortunately, because of this, they don't present till the disease is much more advanced, and that's unfortunate. Even amongst physicians, the awareness is not that high. A lot of physicians, they have patients with PAD, with the same risk factors, diabetes, smoking, they have CAD. Unfortunately, a lot of physicians don't actively look for PAD. They don't actively take off socks and shoes, look for non-healing wounds. They don't actively ask about leg pain. If they did, they'd probably discover more PAD. That's one of our missions, to try and raise awareness. Now, hopefully that patient or that referring physician will send those patients to us. We'd love to do an evaluation on them, see how their arteries look. And if they need a procedure, we'd love to do it. But even if you don't come to us, please go somewhere. Have those arteries evaluated. We don't want your disease to pro progress and get worse. So PAD, CAD, basically the same disease in different parts of the body. CADs in the heart arteries, PADs in the leg arteries, same risk factors. Processed food consumption, namely sugar, processed carbohydrates, smoking, uh, lack of activity. Diabetes is a bonus one because that also comes from processed foods. <coughs> risk factors are the same for PAD and CAD. PAD is slightly more common. Unfortunately, the awareness for PAD is much lower. So if you're watching this, please be aware. Wounds and or leg pain, you might have PAD. Give us a call, come see us, and spread this message far and wide. We want to raise the awareness of PAD so we can catch that disease early and treat it early before irreversible tissue damage occurs.